see the, the boilers hung in place, the intake and the exhaust are connected, the gas lines plumbed in. Now it's time to start plumbing in the water flow to the radiators and to our domestic hot water. So the first place I'm going to start is up top. We're going to plumb in the relief valve. valve plumbed in, the discharge line attached, now all I need to do is anchor it to the frame here. Next on the list is to start plumbing into the bottom of the boiler. The boiler is shipped with two three quarter inch pipe nipples sticking out the bottom, one for the return and one for the hot side of the heating circuit, and two half inch pipe nipples sticking out for the domestic hot water. Here I'll show you what it looks like. This is our cold water return from the heating circuit, and this is our hot water supply to the heating circuit. This is our cold water supply to the domestic hot water, and this is domestic hot water here. And of course this, this is our propane supply from outside for the boiler. Because we're not using a low loss header with this simple heating system, we're building a manifold here with a couple of closely spaced T's. The maximum distance these two T's here should be apart is four times their diameter. In this case, it's one inch pipe, so that means the maximum distance they should be apart is four inches. And when we check it here, it's going to work out to about three and a half inches. So this is going to be the hot water out of the boiler, down through our T, out here to the circulation pump, back through the radiators, back in through here, and return to the boiler. So the next step is I'm going to cut some pieces of pipe fit all this together. This is the manifold that I put together to plumb into the bottom of the boiler. I'll zoom in to give you a closer look. So here you can see the two closely spaced T's, the warm side out of the boiler, and the cool side from the return of the heating circuit back into the boiler. And now it's time to start soldering everything together. Or as my father would have said, soldering it. Well, the manifold's all soldered, and it's all back in place in the bottom of the boiler. Now it's time to secure everything to the frame. The Wiesman installation instructions are very specific about making sure that there isn't any of the load of the piping or the weight carried on the connections to the boiler. So I'm going to fasten everything back against the wall there on some, on some standoffs. Well, we just got back from a trip to town to pick up a little bit of material. We needed some more pipe and a few fittings and a couple of valves. You know the things that you underestimate because you don't want to get at the end of the job end up with a great big box full of stuff to return. Anyhow, so now I'm just going to continue working with the copper and uh, appreciate the solitude of working on this job because was it ever busy in town and it was so good to get back home. This is my buddy Harry. Harry's the guy that lent me the tool for cutting the pipe here and beveling the edges. And Harry told me he was coming over to help. What a blessing he is. He's an incredible friend. We drink a lot of coffee. <laughs> and have some fun. Yeah. Awesome. Sure appreciate your help, buddy. Oh, you are a blessing. Some more solder? Absolutely. Well, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. We filled it up. We've actually flushed the rads once, we're flushing them again. And Harry, how many leaks did we have? We didn't have any. It's amazing. Let me tell you, I was getting a little nervous. I wondered about all my work underneath there, whether I was going to have a leak or two. But anyways, Harry, buddy, thank you so much. It was a pleasure. It was you're, a lot of fun. You're a dear friend, buddy, and I sure appreciate your support and your help. That was a lot of fun. Well, my wife's got pizza ready upstairs. That's what it's all about. Shall we go have a snack? We'll have a snack. Sounds good. Well folks, I sure had a great day today. It started out last night with my buddy Harry sending me a text message saying that he was coming over to give me a hand. And I had to make a run out to the suppliers first thing this morning and pick up some more pipe and a few fittings. And when I got back, and it was quite early, there was my buddy Harry in the driveway waiting for me. So we got all the boilers all plumbed, the domestic hot water side, the heating circuit side. We, we filled it full of water. We ran the circ pump. We flushed the rads twice, and all the rads are bled now. And the best part was on 182 solder joints and 
I don't know how many threaded connections, we didn't have any leaks. And then, to call my buddy the gas fitter back, and he'll come in and check all the work, and if he's satisfied, he'll tag it, and we'll get some propane delivered, and then he'll run an initial firing for us. Well, it's 20 to 6, I'm going to go have supper with my bride and call tonight. What a great day it's been. Hello folks. Well today I received a wonderful phone call at work. It was from the gas fitter to tell me he'd been over and tested and checked everything. He tagged it, there was propane in the tanks, and he test fired the boiler and everything worked great. And the best part was of course, no leaks. So this job has come to an end. What a great feeling. We have a cold snap the weatherman's calling for in the next couple of days. It's supposed to get down to regular winter weather, not this warm weather that we've been having. My wife's going to be so happy to have the boiler working, and me too. I am going to do a little bit more work to the system in the near future. I'm going to add a rad to our kitchen. Right now, our kitchen's heated by a wood stove, which heats most of our house. But when we're away and we're not burning the wood stove, the kitchen gets kind of cool. So I have a cast iron rad that I've got to finish painting and then pressure test, carry into the kitchen, and then I've got to drill some holes and run some three-quarter inch copper. And that should be the end of all this work after that. Anyways, we hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for tagging along with us on this journey, and we look forward to seeing you again in Atlanta's with Paul.